Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It is time for a brand new series. Ooh, that sun is bright. We are playing Minecraft RTX. That means ray tracing is on, and we're going to have a good old time. The sun is rising. We're in a spruce forest, and uh, we're going to get to work. We're going to survive. This is a vanilla survival, um, but we do need some wood to start out with. So I want to build right there, but I want to get some wood and some saplings. So I think I'll travel just a little bit get us some meat and then it will be time to get some wood to punch some trees and survive oh I'm excited for this it was a bit of a hassle to get all this working even as well as it is which isn't perfect but the game still looks gorgeous and I've never done this before so I'm excited to play in this mode I'm excited to watch the Sun play with the shadows and uh, to go caving and have it feel spookier more atmospheric, more ambient. Okay, there we go. Um, we are also going to want some saplings too. I'm gonna wanna plant and harvest giant spruce trees. So as soon as I get four saplings, I think I will be satisfied. Alrighty, we've got our four saplings. We're gonna head back to our starting area. Um, right where we spawned is where I wanna build. I did take a quick peek at the seed before we got going. Right here is where we spawn. See, this is where we punch the coarse dirt out of the way, and there's regular dirt underneath it. So um, there's a nice sandy beach right here, and we're going to take advantage of this area. We want to waste no time when it comes to getting going with uh, our sugar cane and um, all the things that are going to happen a little later in the game. We want to make sure that we're not caught being behind. So we're going to get multiple sugar cane or bamboo plants growing right away. And we're also going to get uh, some food going here too. And the way I'm thinking we'll do that is we'll take advantage of some of these bushes. These are sweet berries. And uh, I see no reason why we cannot plant a row of these here and get them going. Uh, we'll also get going with the seeds right away here. I imagine that this will become a place where we can get wheat, but we don't want to worry about that too early. So we, we don't need a huge head start. In fact, I think three seeds is probably going to be enough. Now, let's go ahead and use our spruce logs and make a crafting table. I am playing on Windows 10 and not on a console, so this is a new experience for me. Okay, let's see. We need some of these and some of these and more of this so we can make a wooden pickaxe. Cool. Aha! See, we've already run into stone here. So this wooden pickaxe is going to come in handy. Okay, we've already got three, so let's waste no time in getting ourselves a stone pickaxe. Those work faster. I feel a bit better having a stone pickaxe already, although I would not mind planting a tree and planting some crops right away. I'm going to need more dirt, which means I'm going to need a shovel, which means I'm going to need more stone. And then tools, weapons, and a furnace. That will be the next important thing. I'm just digging down three at a time here, and it's getting dark. Not outside, but just down, down in these caves. So let's take our goodies back up into the light. Ooh, it's bright out. And see what we can make. We're going to need some more sticks. And actually, let's make one of these, and we can stick it right here and then go two in the bottom, three in the top. Okay, now I can make a, let's see, what's important, a shovel or an ax? Maybe a shovel first. Okay, let's gather up some of this dirt and then we can get going with our giant spruce tree as well as uh, some crops. The water looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna need a hoe and an ax would be good and a sword and then an extra pickaxe, and we're out of sticks. So we can't make torches, so we need more wood. So maybe I did not do this ideally, but that's okay, you know? We're, uh, I'm a little nervous. I'm worried about the night. Okay, let's get this ready for planting and drop some seeds in there. One, two, three. Whew, it's refreshing. Okay, cool. And we can stick a torch there too, so those will stay light late at night. Hmm. I need to grab a tree from somewhere that it won't look bad that I've grabbed a tree from there. Oh, and look, we've got new berries here. Oh, look at the light hitting that. Is it already getting late? Ooh. So let's just grab this guy here. Can I jump up there? I don't see why not. Oop. I'm dealing with a tiny bit of input lag. Um, not an excuse. I did my best to remove it, but 
it doesn't feel quite as tight and responsive as it does on console yet. So hopefully I'll be able to get that all figured out. Um, more wood and more sticks. Now we can grab this and make torches. And I suppose we could stick the meat in here. Oh, I don't know, three of these. That ought to do. And look, the sun is starting to go down. So let's stick a torch here so that these grow. And let's stick a torch up here so that those are thriving through the night. And we don't have any way to sleep yet, but we have our first hidey hole. And now check this out, guys. I'm going to put this torch in here and check out what this does. You ready? Ooh, <laughs> it looks so nice. Oh, and just as soon as this furnace is done cooking, in fact, we're going to move this stuff in. So, nope. Let's uh, take a little bit of coarse dirt and place it right there. And we are holed up for the night. So we can set ourselves up a little base home away from home down here and be able to smelt in the furnace and also craft with our uh, crafting bench. Whew. And hopefully we'll find... Oh, there's some coal. Okay, good. I was just going to say, we need to find some nice ores. And that looks like plenty of coal. So iron's going to be now the thing I'm looking for next, I think. Coal is, of course, very important for cooking any food that needs to be cooked or is beneficial when cooked, but also for uh, smelting iron into usable form so we can make uh, powerful tools and weapons. More powerful than stone, anyway. Um, and some armor, too, I would suppose. And since we are running low on torches, I'm just going to come up here and grab this coal right away. Oh, there's, there's iron! All right, let's grab it. Our stone pickaxe is starting to wear down. So I'm glad we found iron. We do have another stone pickaxe, so I'll use these up before we convert to iron. It'll be nice to have some. How many are we going to end up with? Six. Ooh, uh, you thought you could hide from me, did you? Seven. Oh, more. Eight, nine. Ten. <gasps> Even more. Oh, and I'm like out of torch. Okay, so we'll put this here and this here and just make one more set of four torches. Okay, torch. Whoa! 10, 11, 12. Well, we're halfway to a full suit of armor. Not that that's what we would spend it on, but still. Okay, let's reclaim these torches, actually. See how cobblestone looks in this pack. Not as bad as it does in regular old Minecraft, I would bet. Okay, uh, hmm. I guess up here at the top torch would be a good spot to, uh, set up camp. Okay, so we'll stick our furnace and our crafting bench here. Furnace can go there, and let's stick our 13 iron L iron along with a piece of coal. And look, doesn't that have a nice glow to it? Okay, we probably need a torch right here so we can see what we're doing when we craft. We'll put that there, and we'll get rid of a little bit of stuff sucking up the old inventory space. And we'll stick our wooden pickaxe in here as fuel. That will burn an extra iron. We'll use these three iron to make our first iron pickaxe. And as soon as we use up this stone, we'll graduate to that. And hopefully never go back. All right, downward. Oh, is that more iron? <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. I've broken into something here. What is this? Oh, is that wood? Oh, I think we've got ourselves an abandoned mine shaft here. Okay, sword at the ready. Ooh, look at the lava glow. <sighs> cool. Okay. Um, we actually want to collect cobwebs so we can manufacture wool out of those, out of the string for a bed. Ooh, spooky. Look how the light shines through the fence. Oh, I do not want to get lost. All right, I'm going to grab some string and coal and, uh, back out to our staircase and check on what time of day it is. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know how much I find of everything that I find. Alrighty, we've got ourselves a stack of coal and also 26 iron and 12 string. So let's stick these 26 iron in here and then let's check on the weather. Oh, it's daytime. Lovely. Looks to be about the middle of the day. How are our crops doing? My, my eyes deceiving me or is that one fully? Yes, it is. Okay, so now we have a wheat, which means we can lure things. Uh, we can also harvest these. 
Okay, how are we doing on dirt? Gonna need some real dirt for uh, our tree, which I think is gonna go over here. Where we grow our sugar cane will also be where we grow our giant spruce. Let's flatten this out a bit, shall we? Okay, now, if I put a torch here, then I can put some dirt here. Whoa, wasn't quite expecting that. Okay, so then we're gonna have dirt here and here and here and here as well. And this will be where the tree goes. Uh, I do not have those saplings. Is that sun already going down? It is. And we gotta make a bed. We are not dealing with a terrible night right now. We'll see how lovely a night looks soon. But first, I'm gonna make my bed. Okay, we need wool here, like this. And then we can make ourselves a bed, like this. I have no problem sleeping outside. Wow, it's already, okay, so sunset is night. So as bright as it looks, I think things could be spawning. There, we vanquished the horrible night. Now, let's get some of our stuff down out of here so we don't have to bump our heads and go up and down the stairs every time. Oh, being able to sleep through the night adds all sorts of versatility to the game. So I think we can leave those things down there, actually. We're going to be getting a lot more wood soon. Okay, plant the big tree. Man, there's just so much to do. So much to do and so little time to do it in. Like we've got more food opportunities here. Is it time to stop planting and start eating? Maybe. Then our home's gonna go up here, and we'll want an easy way up and down, so we're probably gonna have to build a little stairway. And I'm not sure what size we want the house to be. I think we take some of this dirt and we put it over here. Let's start using up our stone tools now. We have enough iron to upgrade. And in fact, armor might be a really good idea. Can I turn stone, or coarse dirt, into regular dirt? That's a question I do not know the answer to. Maybe some kind soul could let me know. Yeah, this is gonna be the future site. Well, the current site, the site of our future home. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty, but I get ahead of myself. It's a little too early for that. Okay, so, big to-do list. Let's start with sugarcane, and we'll also do the wheat farm. We'll expand that. It's certainly not time to explore yet. We just gotta get established, and, and well, really, that's it to begin with. And now we're running low on wood, so chopping that tree is gonna be important just as soon as we can. But at least we won't run out of inventory space. We can dump a bunch of stuff in here. Oh yeah, we gotta plant these. Okay, and what's our next important thing to do with iron? Do we want a sword or do we want armor? We could do both, and that would leave us with four. An ax would be a good investment, and then that would leave us with one. So we could do a shovel. So 30 is actually a really good amount. So let's go in here and we'll do a full set of armor. Helmet, breastplate, leggings, and the boots. We'll do a sword, a shovel, and an ax. And wow, we're in great shape, guys. So when I get dressed in the morning, I know I put on my shirt first, then my pants, and then when I'm going outside, I grab my hat, and finally I put on my shoes, and out I go. Desperately low on wood. Oh, but our giant tree has grown. Perfect. Okay, so let's plant our extra sugar cane out here, and we're gonna get ourselves... How many pieces of wood do you think are gonna be in this giant tree? Let's find out together. Alrighty guys, we got 81 pieces of wood and 10 saplings so far. There's lots of leaves yet to decay, but I'm gonna go ahead and plant now and uh, we'll have another tree before we use up this wood and I think we'll be in pretty good shape as far as all of that is concerned. Okay, now, uh, now we expand the farm. Maybe it's time to harvest some dirt. Ooh, it's raining. It's gonna rain tonight. <gasps> A sheep. Um, I will let you live. I like you, sheep. You've found favor in my eyes today. Never forget, go forth and show kindness to strangers. That's well, awfully foggy. Uh, where were we? There's our sheep friend. Ah, over here, I see torches. And second that, I'm not a big fan of this cloudy, rainy look. Maybe I will sleep. Who needs to kill sheep when you can uh, harvest delicious berries in the rain? That's the name of my autobiography. Berries in the rain. Where's our bed? Just out here in the rain. What a sad spot for a bed. But I don't really know where else I could put it. Maybe we put it down here. This does feel a bit cozier, does it not? Maybe 
across from our work area. Whew. That feels better. All right. The sunlight has vanquished the horrible curse. And wow, we already have another tree. Uh, okay, let's make this a bit more impressive. Okay, so now these go in four. Um, so we'll do the same thing here. Hey, what you doing down there, Mr. Drowned? Looks like you're having a pretty good time, if I say so myself. Uh, can you please stop making me dizzy? Excellent. Where's my hoe? No dirty jokes in the comments, please. This is a family-friendly YouTube channel. Although family-friendly might be pushing it as far as a primary descriptor. More like safe, fun for parent-aged gamers. Wow, I sound dumb. Gotta keep the general shape of the shore here. But I like the way this is going. Is this mature? It is. It's hard to tell. We run a tight ship around here. We keep a pleasant environment at all times. That's important. Oh, look at these jerks. Speaking of keeping a pleasant environment, you guys are not a part of that. I am sorry, but you have failed to meet our minimum dress code requirements. Let's think about the size of our house and the location. Okay, so got all this wood, right? If I take this, I can make two stacks of it. And we can think about the shape of a house. There's four and five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the middle of this thing? Here? So if we put a doorway right in the middle, man, don't those wood planks look good? Then we could do a couple of windows like this, right? And that would work? Ooh, yes. That would work just fine. Okay, where's my um, coarse dirt? I think I dumped it in a chest down here, but I want more. You know what? We're gonna be taking this up and replacing it with stone probably anyway. Make this window a little wider, three wide. Good, okay, I like. But I don't see any reason why this window can't be as big as the house. Okay, and then what to do with this last one? Yep, I think I'm gonna like this. Ho 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 ho! Yes, yes! Okay, we need glass. And we need a floor. What should the floor be? Probably just cobblestone for now. This is our first house. So I don't see any need to waste coal on baking the cobblestone into smooth stone. But we can be wealthy enough to put it in the doorways and maybe also stairs leading up to the house. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we'll need some trunk as well. Oh look, we have some. So this is gonna look a bit flat if I put this here. But it's a start. Yeah. Oh, sun's getting low. Ah, morning. Time for some berries, don't you think? All right, our house is walls, but no windows, no floor, and no ceiling, no roof. All right, here's the house with uh, some floor, but I ran out of cobblestone. So, uh, back into the mines we go. I don't know if I'll dig past the um, abandoned mine shaft or if I'll go into it, explore it some more. There's probably gonna be some good stuff. All right, let's try some of these dark hallways here. Well, that's a dead end. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Is this 
it's definitely a bit dangerous, but we are now in a regular old cave here. <gasps> Ooh, I see glowing ore. Cool. What is that, coal? What is this? Must be redstone. Uh, I don't think I can harvest redstone with a stone pickaxe. Very cool indeed. Oh, that's a skeleton. Okay, I don't think he spotted us. Okay, let's try skeleton pass up here. Oh yes, hello. Die! Thank you for dying. That's gold, right? Oh, caving is so much cooler. Ah, there's gold. Gold at a dead end. Let's grab it. There's a zombie. Hey, zombie, I would not mind if you dropped a potato. Nope, nothing doing. I see some very brightly glowing lava back here. Whoa! <gasps> Diamonds? Diamonds! <laughs> oh, it's great! Okay. Let's not catch ourselves on fire here. And let's not get surprised by any bad guys lurking. So, let's leave that be and claim our prize. Okay, I think that's it. Four. Ugh. I'd rather have five. I mean, I'd rather have 20, but I'm happy to get four diamonds. So we can make a diamond pickaxe and get some obsidian with that. That will be cool. Ooh, the nether, what's the nether gonna look like? I don't know. Probably pretty scary. Ooh, lapis. I guess we found our first lapis lazuli right here. Pretty exciting stuff. This blue ore will let us enchant. And we're now down to y equals 7. So let's keep going and see if we can see what bedrock looks like in RTX. There's our first piece right there. So this will turn this way, I'm thinking, and become a mine for us. But not right now. Right now we head back up and we take some cobblestone with us so that we don't bump our heads every time we do this anymore. So I'll meet you guys at the top with some new stone and we can finish the floor of the house. Ooh, look how pretty the night looks. Any bad guys about to poke me? I think not. All right, let's hop up here. Okay, let's finish what we started here. Oh, hello. Oh, thank goodness he died. All right. Let's uh, have some breakfast and celebrate the fact that our floor is complete. Well, it takes a lot of these to get full. Oh, my tummy hurts. Let's get a bread farm going or something. Okay, so are we ready to put a bed in here? No. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut down another tree. Hold on, I'm going to go cut down a tree. Alrighty, I have cut down another tree. We're gonna put some wood in the corners of this thing, but also, whoops, also. All right, guys, the sun is going down and the house is very nearly complete. Oh my gosh, it's cows and I'm holding wheat, okay. I gotta stick you guys somewhere good, and somewhere where I'm not gonna hear you all the time, but maybe just for now I'm gonna stick you in here. Okay, come on in cows. Quick, it's getting dark. In you get. There you go. Ooh, look at our dark house. Okay, uh, I am holding a bed. Let's get some light going on here soon. There's no doors, there's no windows, it's not exactly safe. Ow! See? Do you see what I mean? 
Excuse me, zombie. This is my home. You are not allowed right now. Whew. Oh, okay. We just need to do this. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness, little house. Okay, we're gonna move chests and furnaces and stuff in here, and we'll we gotta build some doors. We gotta make some windows. You're a strange looking zombie, aren't you? Okay. Sand. We could put some of that in a furnace. Why would we put it in a furnace down here, though, you may ask, when you could just as easily move the furnace up. It's a little dark in here. Okay, let's stick the furnace here. And then uh, I think five coal ought to cook most of this. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That is looking cozy. Uh, we're going to need some chests here. Ooh, I'm hungry. Guess it's more sweet berries for me. Sweet berries while I run my errands. Planting trees, planting trees. Huh. Making glass. All right, I've got an idea to spruce up the old ceiling. Ha, spruce! We're gonna stick logs in here like this. That helps a bit. And then I can hang a lantern from here as soon as I get one. Is this an odd number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is. It's a nine by seven home. Okay, this will serve us well. We can stick another furnace here. Then we can have a path out here that leads to our first mine down there and our farms and stuff. We're gonna need a better spot for the cows. I'm gonna have to scope that out. I'm gonna have to like pillar up and take a look maybe. But I think we're off to a good start. In between episodes, I'm gonna farm more wood and stone and coal and iron and really get things going along that as well as uh, our actual like plant farms here. We'll get going with wheat and sugar cane and that's going to turn out great. So thanks for joining me for this first episode. Lots of exciting things are going to happen. We're going to take it a little slow and enjoy the world, do some exploring, and go on adventures. So uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time in the basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.